I figured it out, guys. I figured it out. Why the Vikings kept raiding England. It's because you get filthy, filthy rich. Boom. Read it and weep. 100 million pounds in the bank. Transfer budget of 50 million still. Hmm. Are you excited to see what we did? With all this money? Because it is a transfer special, so of course you are. Roll the intro. Greetings, friends, and uh, welcome back for some more Danish Dynamite with your Viking here, Mr. Are You Crazy? Longhorn and Bluetooth and all that. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's been an enthralling transfer window. I actually had so much time that I made a GIF about how my transfer window has gone. So put that on the screen while we do this. Yeah, it's not been overly, overly fun. Uh, as you can see, we've made two signings. Uh, yes, we've bought Tochi Chukwano. Beautiful Danish name, very traditional. It's I think it's the Queen's middle name, actually. Um, but uh, yeah. Just a uh, talent uh, that potentially can grow. He's actually pretty, I think he's pretty good. Uh, I bought him and then I put in the bid, the clause that they can loan him back for a year. Because, I mean, I'm not going to need him now. But 2.8, not too bad. I bought this guy, Eskildel, that I remembered from. I did a York save and up through the, you know, all the leagues in England. This guy was at Chelsea and I tried to loan him like every single season. They were always like, eh, we want to have him play at a higher level, higher level, higher level. When I was finally able to loan him or eventually actually buy him, I was in the Premier League already and he was then crap because he never played for like eight years straight or something. But uh, I got him in from Ajax. He actually looks really good, like potentially. Ooh, I like him a lot. Eskil Dell, welcome. Right, well, of course, we had kind of had to clean up the squad because there was a lot of, well, let's put it nicely, dead weight in there. Uh, so, yeah, brought in a total of 53 million. It's probably not the best thing ever, but, I mean, yeah, when you see some of these players, you'll know why. I mean, we we saw Bretinho, 30 years old. I never even played him. That's how rubbish he is on paper compared to some of the other players, right? The fact that he doesn't even start for me was just mesmerizing. So, 22 million, that's actually pretty good. I sold Mr. Schultz, who's, every time he played, he somehow made it to make an own goal or a fatal mistake. So, yeah, he's off to Burnley. I sold Eric Svetchenko, also beautiful Danish name, who is actually pretty darn good, like, on paper, right? But, yeah, he, you didn't see a lot of him because last year he was actually loaned out. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I have too many players and he's getting up there as well. Like, I'm trying to get rid of the, all the old players, but he's actually, he looks really, really good. His attributes are very good, right? But, yeah. Off to Benfica, he goes for, what, 9 million. Father mm. Grano, the good keeper who was also out on loan last season, uh, he's been sold to, what was that? Werder Bremen. He was in Hamburger last uh, last summer. Risa Domisi got left, which is maybe a bit surprising. I mean, he was my starting left back in the beginning, but yeah, then, well, we found a new left back, and since then, he hasn't really been playing much, and he's not going to develop right, so off he goes. Uh, other than that, like some of the other ones, Matthias Jensen, you didn't see him, he was loaned out. Uh, who else? Nikolai Jansen, only 2 million, which is a bit bonkers, but yeah, he was also loaned out. He's like the worst striker we've ever had in the history of Denmark, uh, which is, I don't know. Jonas Lissel is gone as well, our um, reserve goalkeeper that never played because I couldn't register him. So uh, yeah, off to Schalke he goes. As you can see with some of the prices, I mean, we were a bit desperate, but yeah. Jonas Knudsen is off to uh, FC Copenhagen, which I kind of like that he's going to the Danish league, but uh, yeah, I mean, he was never going to play, and uh, registration is a bit of a problem for me, so, uh, the f oh, and of course, yeah, as you saw last time, Lord Bentner is gone. He is no more, I mean, he's not dead, but yeah, he is gone. And then loads of, a uh, few loans here and there. Uh, I loaned out Mr. Dorami, because, yeah, I want to see some improvement from him. Uh, he could be a potential star for me in the future, but as of right now, I want to I want to loan him out so he develops a bit. Same goes for Andreas Sko Olsen, who's... I had him in my first team and I played him a few uh, like a few times here in there last season, but... Again, registration problems and, like, we need to have a slim troop, right? We need to play the players we have as much as human possible, so I loaned him out so he can get some game time. And, uh, yeah, hopefully he will. And uh, other than that, some other players have just gone out that are mm, not really starters or anything for the future. They just... I just needed to get rid of them. Oh, and I almost forgot. Sadly, Queen Margaret II is no longer. Rest in peace, my dear queen. 
I mean, she's not dead, but yeah, show the pictures. She she just randomly decided to retire, which I guess at the age of I don't even know seventy five or whatever it is she is. Um, it's it's, it's decent, all right. So we randomly had a takeover debacle in the middle of the preseason, which uh, yeah, it was a bit strange. But um, show the next picture because someone actually did eventually buy the club, and then we were like, oh, we're not gonna invest anything in the club, and I was like, okay, so what's the point of this? <laughs> so we got a new we got a takeover. We have. Absolutely no investments whatsoever. So all the money that we have right here is actually money that we've made from this transfers. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty difficult to um, to find players when your <sighs> when your biggest criteria is that they need to be Danish. So um, so yeah, this is uh, this is what we're gonna have to work with this season. It's gonna be a very interesting season. But I will just point out something, and this is why I've had to let go of some players that I actually kind of wanted to save. Uh, keep around but i had to just loan them out and stuff registration is a real bitch like i even did the whole database thing and i mean they they are homegrown in a sense but then the brexit happened and now the rule is maximum 20 uh, 17 sorry foreign players as you can see they are all foreign except Kessler smigel which is amazing but yeah so then players of the age of 20 or younger does not have to be registered that's why that's why i had to re uh, loan out mr where is he andres Sko, because he's actually 21 it used to be that tr that rule was like under 23, right? But in in terms of Brexit, it's it's 21. So yeah, not not amazing. And uh, yeah, as you can see, what is that? This is like the squad we have to work with. 17 foreigners. That those are the ones I can register. And then we just have to rely on like under 21s and on uh, under 18s. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a battle. But uh, uh yeah. So yeah, this is going to be our squad, and uh, there's of course loads of familiar names. Uh, Kasper Schmeichel keeps his place in goal for now, but the youngster new gen with five-star potential who looks very, very good. I mean, he is eventually going to take over, but um, I think one more season now, Schmeichel uh, is very, very good, and he can mentor Mr. Stenhope, uh, and then hopefully we can see this guy in the future. And he's definitely going to play in the cups and stuff like that that we don't really care about. Um, still have. Simon Kea, we also have Joachim Larsson still, who's still decent, but like three star, he's probably not going to develop that much. Therefore, we're actually going to gamble on this guy, uh, Victor Nelson, who last season was out on loan, actually at FC Copenhagen, which is funny, where he plays in real life. Uh, yeah, 22 years old, has some potential, good marking, good tackling already. Like He potentially four star, good leadership as well, which I kind of like. Determination could be a bit higher, but also his pace is a bit... Uh, we're training him, we're training him, and hopefully he will, with playing time alongside Mr. Andreas Christensen, he will become an absolute superstar. You would hope so, right? Right back is still between Mr. Vess and Mr. Mele. I'm thinking of playing Mr. Mele a lot this season, uh, just to try and develop him. He's, he's only well, he's 24 now. Ah, oh, goddammit, I thought he was like 22, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, because if you compare the two, Daniel Vess, I mean, you can kind of see what I'm on about. Daniel Vess is just... A lot better maybe not physically but like technically mentally i guess it's it's pretty even but yeah so they're going to be the right backs uh left back well we only really have mr andreas paul from our wonder left back from last season who stole the spot and has kept it ever since but then we also have robot skull that can play there which i'm very happy about like and this guy's actually very very good i was gonna play him i think but i actually just in my mind i just made a new plan Mr. Jakob Larsen, who's like one of the stars, right, potentially, he is going to play loads, but I'm thinking of putting him in the right side. I think he's going to play as my AMR, and then I will have Mr. Mikkel Damsko. Five-star potential. He needs to play all the time. Or out on the left as an inverted winger. That could potentially be very, very good. So that kind of means that Sko is probably not going to play that much. But then he can play on left back whenever needed, and he's just a great, great player to have, right? And there's going to be injuries. There's going to be all sorts. Um... Midfield stay is pretty much the same. Delaney, 29. We still have a few good years of him, I think. And he's just really, really, really good. Same goes for Hoibia. And then he, of course, is younger, so we have him for even longer. But yeah. And then we have Billing as like the third choice. <coughs> Not great, but he does a, he does a job, I think. He's, he's good enough, I think. Next up, of course, is kind of the crux of the whole formation. It's kind of where the, it didn't really pan out the way I wanted to. But yeah, Christian Eriksen, of course, is going to keep his spot as the MC. I want to see more from him. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's really, really good. I want to say world class, but maybe like an, the 
the step below world class, right? <clears throat> very, very, very good. And Lucas Anderson will just have to play whenever he can. And he's a decent like sub. He can and he can play multiple uh, positions very naturally. So not too uh, worried about that. And then we last on the dump score I showed you. Victor Fischer is still here. I'm not sure about what we're gonna do with Victor Fischer. It's weird how he says they have potential ability. I mean, he's pretty 27. How is he gonna develop? But mm, I mean, he's a good he's a good sub to have. Like and uh, can even play as a striker and uh, on the right if he absolutely must. But yeah, here's where it gets a bit exciting. Our Youngster Philip Bungo has been called up, and he's gonna play a part in the in the first squad this year. I think <clears throat> can deploy him as a striker, but he's he's a bit slow for my liking in terms of being a striker. So I think he would actually play perfect here in the AMC role and kind of take over Kasten Eriksson's role, which should be easy considering how shit uh, Kasten Eriksson is. Part of my language, but um, yeah, I think he has loads of potential. I mean, so does my coaches apparently, and uh, yeah, he could be a real real superstar. Like. On the same note, Dolbert, I just don't know what to do about Dolbert. I could start him, of course, but yeah, I don't know. Dolbert for me is just a bit of a sub, I think, because I could gamble on this guy, Wahid Fagir, who's very, very talented. Like, his potential is, well, potentially five stars, and he just looks very, very good for an 18-year-old. I think I'm going to play him load this season. But, of course, we have the main man, the star of the hour, the 51 million user Paulson. I don't know how that has worked out. But, uh, yeah, of course, he won the top, uh, the league's top scorer, what's his top goal scorer in the Premier League last year. Who on earth knows how? But, yeah, still, still 11 finishing. But somehow it worked. So who am I to complain? So that leaves our formation, actually. Exactly like this. It would be Vas, Kristensen, Nilsson now, and then Paulson, Billing Delaney, and then Paul Larsen on the right now. Like I said, still inverted winger because he's either footed, so may as well just uh, stick to what we know and love. And uh, Eriksson in behind Paulson with Dumps going on the left. Hmm, what does he prefer actually? Nah, it doesn't really matter if it's attack or support. Um, so actually, let's just make him attack. And uh, yeah, today we are actually going to play a little match because, uh, well, why not? Let's play the first match of the. Of the Premier League. Oh, it's not even now. Now, good planning. Right, sorry about that. Now we're actually on the right day. And uh, yeah, we did a little bit of business. I forgot all about because uh, yeah, we got Mr. Marcondes. Someone may recognize him. He plays for Brentford in real life. Uh, on a trial for now. I'm not sure I want to sign him, but he's available on a free, so I might for a bit of squad depth. But uh, yeah, let's jump into the first match of the season. It's going to be a tough one versus Chelsea this time. Right, something I forgot to check and was a bit uh, curious about is our season prediction. And it is literally the same as last year. 10th. 2-1 to win the league. And uh, yeah. Not very exciting. Uh, our two good best stars, I guess, is Ericsson. And oh, address Kastensen now instead of Schmeichel. So, hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, let's see the Chelsea lineup. Well, they're playing a 4-2-3-1 as well. And they have Samuel Chukwezu. Out on the right, which is very exciting. I mean, he looks very good, doesn't he? Uh, and that hair. That hair is fancy. You gotta love that. I mean, I'm not gonna say what it looks like. That would be probably rude. But, um, yeah. Who else did they have? Latari Martinez. Holy moly. I mean, that is gonna be scary. Anyone else? Interesting. Not so much. And it's pretty much the good old, um, good old Chelsea. But, uh, yeah. And I, I said we owe them after last time. But, We've been over this before. We owe literally all of England. So let's just get a, a good performance in the first match. We are at home, right? So you expect us to have a little bit of a chance, maybe, perhaps. Okay, Lataro Martinez is in, and yeah, one nil after four, four, four minutes. That is not. That is not good. That is what he will do. I don't need to see that again. James with a free kick towards Chukwueso, but we do win it. Uh, they keep the ball very nicely, though. So Michael actually made a save. I'm as surprised as you are. And of course, we are sticking with this uh, the Gagan press thing because we do have work rate, abundance of work rate everywhere. Uh, but let us see if we can actually pass the ball to each other. Apparently not. Uh, and then, yeah. Now. Oh. God, the Tar Martin is in again and he scores again. Are you joking, lads? It's gonna be the exact same as the last season. I suspect so. 
Can we try and pass it to our teammates for a change? Billings, Erickson. I mean, let's just construct an actual attack. That would be lovely. Oh, he gets tackled. You are having a laugh, right? And now Taro is in again. Are you joking? Oh my god, we're only 30 minutes in. Are you joking? This is ridiculous. At home, and we, we did fine, I think, last season versus Chelsea. Come on, Paulson. <sighs> yeah, but this is the Paulson we all know, and, well, not love, I guess, but. He needs 10 more of those, and then suddenly he's the top goal scorer in the league, and no one knows why. I hate to point this out, but we, apparently we've had nine shots and six on target. They've had four shots, and well, you can see the scoreline yourself. And uh, yeah, not good. I'm gonna just far from pleased. Yes, please win the ball. Thank you. And then find the red shirt. Yes, not red skin. <sighs> that's the wrong sport, and that's the wrong striker. Oh, I'm just so worried. I mean. Espiloqueta on a header. Are you having a laugh? Smigel will take the blame for that. He certainly will. Fire up. I don't even know what I think, why I clicked that one, but this is getting stupid. So they've now had five chances on goal. And they've scored four goals. We've had 12 shots, apparently. I mean, we haven't really seen a whole lot of them, so. Can we actually. Come on, Paul. Get a gut. I mean, now you score, right? Is it even worth it now? I mean, okay, let's 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 get excited. Come on, lads, we can do it. Go on, go on, we are Vikings. Ooh, yes, they're hearing me. They're hearing me. Christian Eriksen is gonna take this one. Is he gonna smack it in the corner? Go on, lad. Don't get me, don't get me, going with false hopes and all sorts. Eriksen, yeah, great, great, great. I mean, yeah, textbook free kicking. Uh, so now what to do? I mean, now I actually have to try here, don't I? So let's make a change. Damsko's not having a good game. So uh, swap him for Brun Larsen and then get Sko out there. Yes, that's that's what we're going to do in the beginning here. And then we shall encourage the lads. Come on! Come on, we're better than this. They've had five shots on target, lads. Five shots on target and have scored four goals. <sighs> right, well, nothing is actually happening. Brun Larsen, who can we put on out there? Dolberg. Yes, invert, inverted, no, inside forward, yes, get stuck in. And Delaney, Delaney, he's not playing well and he's also knackered, so put Anderson in and then put him as advanced playmaker. May as well go attacking at this point. Uh, yeah, keep going, guys. Come on, come on. One, I mean, if we score now and then it ends 4 3, I'll be <sighs> kind of disappointed. Come on, Erickson, you got this. Oof. Yes. Let's not lose the ball. Actually show that we want to try. Are we going to try? I mean, Paulson. Imagine if he scored just one of those, like, one-on-ones in the beginning. Come on, lads. Encourage. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, there's a chance. There's actually a chance. Come on, lads. We can bloody do it. We've actually dominated this match. Come on, Vass. Not like that. Not like that! Come on! Are you having a laugh then? So it's a 20 minute like hat trick. I'm not happy lads, I'm not happy at all. There's a 20 minute hat trick or something but like that by Martinez, which is ridiculous. And then a header from Espiliqueta, the shortest man in the world I guess. Uh, hang on, most people expected a heavy defeat? I certainly didn't. I expected to win. Well we lost so we won't be too happy and we need to be figure out why we lost and stuff like that. Uh, I wasn't impressed with our defending. Heck no. Let's just see what actually occurred. So 5th, 8th and then 23rd, 3rd minute. Are you having a laugh? And for God knows how long of the match they had 5 shots on target. They did get a few last in the end. By the way, why are the stats not here on the screen? I mean, all these empty things. Why can't we see the actual game stats here? SI. Sometimes it's like... Ugh. Can you tell I'm annoyed? I think we should have gotten more from that match. But... um. I think we clawed our way back, which shows a bit of desire at least, and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and of course, uh, the scheduling gods are definitely not kind to us. Not this season either. It's not as bad, I would say, but next is Arsenal, then Everton, difficult match, right? Then City, 
and then it kind of starts evening out a little bit. Then we have, at some point, we have Tottenham, Liverpool, and United back to back to back, which is a bit scary. And then, of course, it repeats as well. And uh, yeah, we have Euro Cup, two league pathway qualifying, all sorts of weird matches, which is just going to make life even worse. So uh, I don't even know when you'll see this again. But yeah, I'm going to play on for a bit. And then, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, if you're excited for the new season, even though I'm not sure what to expect. I was expecting a bit more, but... It's pretty difficult. I need the regens to start developing uh, so I can actually play them because that's literally the only chance we have to getting better players is new gens, regens. But uh, if you enjoyed it, press like, subscribe, get your comments in and all that. And until uh, next time, goodbye.